Um, I think everybody, including myself, is getting sick and tired of just the unknown. It does seem like the politicians, parliamentarians in Westminster are increasingly detached from the populace in terms of views and what needs to happen. I think whichever way you voted in Brexit, uh, we just want clarity now as business operators uh, where we're going with all of this. Um, and, you know, there are certain politicians, perhaps the Prime Minister included, that regardless of your opinions of, of his policies, at least uh, they are trying to you know have a have an end game and 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 sort of finish it In terms of Brexit, I think it's really everybody's concern is just the unknown as far as trade is concerned. Uh, with our business here, we're, we're very focused on selling lambs for meat. And as we know, about a third of the lamb in the UK is exported mainly to Euro European countries, Eurozone countries. Um, so at the moment, we're, you know, profitability in the UK farming is marginal at best. So, you know, it can only sort of get quite bad if, uh, if our trade conditions sort of worsened. short term is where everyone's concern is and also from an individual planning a business at the moment we're just in no man's land we don't know how to plan even for next spring in terms of um, you know how much livestock to produce where to send it whether we should do contract deals with processors um, everybody I talk to my friends colleagues in agriculture you know we're all very uncertain at the moment There are growing markets. I know we're, um, our industry in the UK is tapping into these uh, new um, sort of increasingly wealthy markets um, that do want grass-fed, British-reared, that are very high welfare standards, beef and lamb. But um, that is a slow burn. It's not something you can send vast amounts straight away. You have to sort of tap into these markets, um, do all the your bureaucratic bit as well. And uh, it does take time to get volumes going, you know, years. So I think uh, I'd be a bit naive to think that that would be our answers straight away. Yeah, we, uh, our lobbyists tend to bring some of those down to Westminster and they can put it on and they've done their bit then, they support British. We don't want a no-deal to Brexit scenario from our point of view. That would be catastrophic. We need a deal being done, we need the status quo being maintained and we need to maintain this free and frictionless trade uh, with the EU. We're not on in a, th a third country's list, so uh, we'll be subject to uh, export tariffs into the EU, who are our biggest trade partner, uh, and that would be catastrophic for a lot of farm businesses. Uh, it would be effectively a trade embargo on certain sectors, um, as they have to have checks by bets uh, and uh, border inspection posts. And that throws up a huge amount of issues in terms of, uh, you know, stock being kept in ports, uh, and then there could be, a, you know, uh, sort of huge delays around the ports and effectively it would be an embargo. It's, it's hard to put an exact figure on it really, obviously with the uncertainty surrounding it, but um, you know, it would have huge impacts on the UK's biggest manufacturing sector, which is food and drink, which accounts for 108 billion pounds to the economy uh, and employs 4 million people. Um, so obviously with volatile markets and potential lack of supplies and shortage of supplies, we're putting those 4 million people at risk in terms of that. So this goes way beyond the farm gate and way beyond the rural economy. This affects the whole economy.